you know, has, has changed dramatically over the last Absolutely. even five, ten years. Um, what are the biggest changes you've seen over that time, and what does that mean for a person who's starting out today? Yeah, so the biggest changes I've seen is um, the uh, actually the change in automation. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of banks are now creating um, automated mobile banking apps that pretty much uh, allows you to assess your financial landscape, uh, track your expenses, and also get into investing. So I think this new tool of you know, allowing technology to integrate into mobile has definitely helped people um, kind of become more efficient in their finances. So it's not just, it's not just we hear this term robo-advising, it's robo-banking. Definitely. You're, you're, you're allowed to track, it allows you to track all of your expenses and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. If we touch on robo, another ro another term we hear is all the time at this point, robo advising. Uh, we see advertisements for it. Uh, can Can you explain briefly what that is and, and what the benefits are? Oh uh, yes. Yeah, so um, is that we, something in there? Is an area you look at? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's uh, so robo banking and obviously advising. Um, it's it's pretty much streamlining the investment approach, and it's also um, subtly creating a financial literacy component to it. So I think uh, people now can, ass can literally assess their entire financial picture or their investment threshold. And with this uh, robo sort of advising, it gives them automated solutions based on uh, the tailored needs of the uh, end user. So I think it's pretty cool. So I'm a person, I, I don't like a lot of risk. I work hard for my money. I don't mm -hmm. really, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna risk it too much, but I wanna have some risk to, to grow it. I can do this through, through robo-advising and, and feel pretty comfortable that that's going to be achieved? Absolutely, absolutely. There are a lot of different banks uh, and financial institutions that focus on this. And obviously today, being that we're transitioning to mobile investing, you have the inception of, um, you know, again, Robinhood app or Stash or Rubik's. Um, these are uh, uh, apps that are actually allowing you to streamline your investment portfolio. And in fact, they actually increase 10% uh, as opposed to traditional um, you know, annual return of 8% uh, return. So I think it's pretty good. <laughs> a higher return. Higher return. How do they do that? What's the magic um, bullet? I, listen, I wish I had it. <laughs> I, can, uh, I would definitely start my own app. But <laughs> um, and, and from what I've uh, witnessed, uh, they pretty much tailor it towards the individual's needs and their um, risk profile. So if your risk profile is aggressive, you'll get stocks that are actually more aggressive and that can yield a positive return. If it's more conservative or moderate, then you can get those uh, tailored investment strategies as well. Interesting. So on the flip side of the of, of sort of what millennials are looking at and doing, uh, are people?